So hello, hello, good night, guys, good night. Hello. Good night. Nice to meet you too. Hi, nice to meet you. So welcome everybody. So well, I see we are some, you know, some of the students. We are like one, two, three, five, six, six students for tonight. So guys, probably some of your classmates, you know, due to the rain, you know, the rain. Um, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Anna. So guys, uh, you know, due to these storms that have happened in, you know, in the country, that's why some of you cannot connect today, right? So unfortunately, but, you know, we hope to see them, you know, in the rest of the week. So guys, um, well, today we are start, you know, the first class. Welcome to, you know, English Intermediate, right? Number one. So guys, um, well, first of all, congratulations to all of you, because if you are here, it means that you have passed, you know, the previous courses. So that's pretty cool. Pretty nice, guys. Congratulations to you. So, well, um, we're going, you know, to see some things that I have here for you. So for the ones that are joining, if you can turn on, please, your cameras, because I have to see everybody here, right? So I can, you know, take the attendance list. So guys, let me share you, you know, the presentation. But first, uh, let me share you here. I have something for you. So guys, as you know, we work in a platform, right? So let me show you this, all right? We have the first unit. Well, we are going to work this week, this special week um, will be from Tuesday to Friday, okay? Tuesday to Friday, because yesterday we didn't have classes, right? So that's why we are going to have uh, classes until Friday. But then next week will be normal, right? From Monday to Thursday. So guys, this week, we are going to work in section one and section two, okay? We are going to see, you know, some topics here, and we are going to make exercises, okay? So, perfect, guys. Let's see. Um, oh, well, we are 11 already. Perfect. So, the ones that have the camera, um, you know, off, if you can turn off, please. And, guys, welcome to this class. And... Well, I hope we can, you know, all we can pass this class, right? So let me ask everybody to turn on all your videos. So perfect. Now, guys, you know, first of all, I want, you know, to show you, you know, about me, right? So you can know me very well. So in, and if you know me about, you know, previous courses, so, well, hi again. So guys, let me, you know, talk about myself here. So I have here, you know, my presentation about myself. So my name is Elisa Ramiro Renderos Jove, right? So you can call me Elisa, right? Um, I am a licenciado in idioma inglés. Here I have my email and my phone number, my WhatsApp. There is already in the group, right? So if by any doubt you have, you can text me, right? And well, about me, guys, let me explain you about my work experience. So here I have, you know, I was a teacher in the Universidad Tecnológica del Salvador, and I was there for almost like four, no, yeah, like three years. And well, I was also working, guys, in the call center industry, right, for almost two years. So, you know, I have a lot of, I mean, experience. If you have any question about call center, if you are looking for a job, so I can help you as well. And well, I have been, uh, you know, an English teacher since 2019, right? I have worked for some schools, you know, for some academies and universities, right? Right now, I'm not living in the country, so that's why I, I don't have, you know, this inconvenience about the storm. But I know that some of you, you have, right? Right now, I'm living in Argentina, so um, that's why I don't have, you know, any inconvenience about, you know, this storm. So do not worry, the class is not going, you know, to fail. And well, about, you know, my academy record, you know, I have all these courses and also degrees course, right? So you can see it here. So, and perfect guys, 
this is you know about me and this is my photo right so you can see yeah i'm not you know handsome but this is what we have right so perfect guys now you know let's see we have here some class rules okay because in every you know class we have these rules right so i hope we can respect it right so let me choose one of you uh to help me reading this so let's see um jenny hello jenny hello hi jenny can you help me reading these rules please okay keep cameras on all the time mm -hmm. try to speak english help each other mm -hmm. be on time every time perfect this one uh, mute your microphone ask okay. ask for help Okay, perfect, guys. So, you know, these are the rules that we are going, you know, to handle in this, you know, section. So, guys, please, please keep your cameras on all the time, okay? So, I can take, you know, the attendance list. If you don't turn off your cameras, I'm sorry, but I'm not going, you know, to take you into account that you were here, okay? So, that's why I'm asking you. But if you have any inconvenience like teacher, you know, I cannot turn on my camera because I have this inconvenience. So, okay. You, but you can tell me, huh? you have to tell me that you cannot, right? And um, well, guys, we are not in basic one, basic two. We are in intermediate, right? So that's why we have to speak English, right? We are in a higher level, okay? Higher level. So we have to speak English. And also, guys, if you have the opportunity to help your class, may do it, right? So, because we are here to help each other, right? And please be on time every time, okay? Always be on time, guys, because I will be here, well, not today, but probably tomorrow and the other days I will be here, you know, like three or four, four minutes before the classes start, okay? So please be on time because I'm going to start on time. And always, if there is someone that is talking, please mute your microphone because they can be an, a background noise. And guys, guys, this is something that probably the most important thing. Always, if you have any doubt, any question, something, please, please ask for help or say, teacher, I don't understand, okay? So, okay. Now, guys, let's see. So first of all, welcome. So, well, I see, you know, your faces now. So guys, let's see. Um, I have here, you know, some questions for you, okay? So, well, let's see, we have the first one. Let's see, we, what's your favorite kind of music? Let's see, let me ask uh, somebody here. Um, Eduardo Romero, hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, hello, Eduardo. Can you tell me what is your favorite kind of music? Um, I like um, rock, um, pop, uh, uh, Spanish rock, mm -hmm. um, salsa, merengue, etc. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eduardo. So now let's see. We have where are you from and where do you live? Let's see, uh, let's ask a girl. So, Diana, hello. No, sorry, it's Dina, sorry. Uh, my, my apologies. So, Dina, <laughs> Dina Flores. Good evening. Yeah. So, Din Dina, can you tell me where are you from and where do you live? I am from El Salvador. I am live in San Salvador. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. So now, guys, we have here this rest of the question. But guys, because you are a huge class, we are a lot of participants here. We don't have time, you know, for, to ask each one. So what I'm going to do, guys, is that I'm going to divide you. Yes, we are going to make, you know, breakup rooms. So pueden practicar con su compañero, okay? So les voy a enviar esta foto al grupo de WhatsApp, pero si ustedes también le quieren tomar una screenshot o captura de pantalla, pueden hacerlo, okay? You can do it. So let me, you know, create the group. So let's see. Perfect. So guys, 
Uh, if you can accept the invitation, please, we are going, you know, to speak, okay? Vamos a hablar con nuestros compañeros, okay? We are going to speak with our, you know, classmates. So please, you know, accept the invitation and I'm going, you know, to send you this photo so you can take it, right? Let's see. So guys, please accept the invitation. I'm sending you, you know, the picture so you can have it, right? So now it's in the group. You can, you know, do it. Uh, okay, I have Jenny. I'm going to send you to a group. Please accept it. Uh, let's see, group number four. Okay. So perfect, guys, accept the invitation, please. Let's, you know, practice our speaking skills, okay? Let's practice, guys. Okay, nice. Let's see. Uh, Eduardo, can you accept the invitation, please? Eduardo Aiden, please. Okay, very nice. but uh, I live in San Salvador. Okay, a ver. Eduardo, what are your hobby? Okay. I like uh, good. Uh, uh, I watch, I like watch. TV. And I like uh, play um, basketball. How, how, how old are you? I am 35 years old. And you? I have uh, 29. Years. Um, how many sisters and brothers do you have? I have um four sisters and one brother. And you, how many sisters and brothers do you have? Ivana? Hello. Salvador? Uh, my hobbies are read books and watching TV. Excellent. 
Jenny. Is, uh, read the book too. And I, I like to swim. Okay. Lorena. Uh, my hobby are uh, watch TV, um, read a book. And you? What about you, Dino? Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite hobbies is listen music, or watch TV, um, out uh, the park. Uh, visit my family. Okay. Yeah. Mm, siguiente question. How old are you? Uh, How old are you? Um, con Jenny, huh? I'm uh, 50 years old. No se escuchó. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm 50 years old. Okay. And you? Um, I am 32 years old. 32? 32? I don't know yeah. anyone. Uh, 32? Yes. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Salvador? <laughs> uh, I am 39. 39. You, Lorena? Okay, perfect, guys. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome. So, guys, I hope you have practiced this question. So, how was it, guys? Do you practice with your classmates? So, guys, perfect. So, welcome, the ones that are joining. So, well, guys, you know, we were discussing these questions about how often do you do exercise, right? And we have as well this one. So let me ask some of you, let's see. Uh, Ever, Ever Alexander, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Ever. Let me ask you something. How often do you do exercise? Uh, I do exercise uh, every day. Okay. Nice, very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. Now let's see who do I have? Anna. Anna, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Anna. Can you tell me how often do you watch TV? Well, I watch TV. Mm, I think four hours a day. Oh. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Thank you, Anna. So, guys, Wait. very nice. I hope you have practiced this because that was, you know, the exercise as well. This, right? This is, well, these questions were for you, you know, to know, you know, each other so we can get together, right? And this one, you know, is because of the topic of tonight, right? So, guys, let me, you know, share you something before, you know, to start with this one. So I want to know how many of you, you know, some uh, know about vocabulary. So let's see. I have this little game for you. So this game is called, how do you call this? Okay. So you're going to help me with this. Okay. We have here in Zoom a chat box. Okay. A chat box. So you're going to type your answer. Okay. Type your answer about this. So let's start with this one. How do you call this, guys, in English? Please use the chat box, okay? The chat box of Zoom. Type your answer. Let's see how many of you know how to, you know, write it. And also, what is the name? So what is the name of this in English, guys? Let's see. 
in the chat box, right? In the laundry chat uh, in the chat. Ah, okay. Yeah, in the chat, yeah. So let's see, let's see the first answers. Okay, ever washing machine, perfect. Tell me laundry, washing machine. Okay, Jenny. Okay, what about the rest, guys? Come on, I want to see. Okay, washing machine, watching machine, okay. Remember watching and washing, right, guys? Okay, nice. So let's see, perfect, very nice, guys. I like it, I like your answers. So let's see, tom, tom, tom. Yes, washing machine, perfect. Very nice for the ones that get it. Now let's see this one, guys. How do you call this? Tell me, come on, okay? Don't look on the internet, guys. Please do it by your own if you know it, right? So come on, guys, come on, let's see. How do you call these guys? Hmm? Let's see, I have here. Okay, Roxana Blender, okay, nice. Blender, okay, guys. Blender, perfect, guys. Very nice, okay. Most of you say Blender, let's see. Yeah, Blender, yes, yeah, Blender Machine, perfect, guys, congrats. Now let's, you know, have this one. How do you call this? Let's see. Pain. <laughs> yeah, of course, in Spanish, yeah. But in English, how do you call this? Come on. Okay, I have, tell me, say, comb. Okay, and what about the rest? What do you think the rest? Think. Okay. What about the rest? Come on, guys. Come on. Come, okay. So let's see, guys. This one, come, perfect. Now this one, guys. How do you call this? So many of you use it, right? Okay, here it come. I have so yeah, here it come. So guys, this one. Many of you use this, right? In your houses, you use it, right? So tell me, how do you call this? Mm -hmm. Come on, guys, let's see. How do you call these guys? Okay, broom. Okay, broom, uh, mopa, <laughs> broom. Okay, so guys, this is no uh, a broom. Well, a broom, you know what is a broom, right? Okay, broom, broom. Okay. So... Guys, this is, you know, este es un trapeador, right? Tenemos escoba y trapeador, pero este es un trapeador, okay? So let's see. How do you call this, guys? So this one, guys, is mob, okay? Mob. So mob es trapeador, right? Mob. Mob. Now let's see. This one, guys. So this one, let's see how many of you know it. Very easy, guys. Okay, toilet, okay, toilet, okay, nice, toilet, and let's see, yes, guys, we have toilet, okay, perfect, yeah, correct, now let's see, you know, let's see, what about this, come on, guys, I want to see, what about this, yes, guys, what do you think? Uh, paper toilet, say Roxanne, okay. Tell me toilet paper, okay. We have paper toilet and toilet paper. So come on, guys. What about the rest? I want to see the opinion of everyone. So come on, guys. Okay, toilet paper. So nice, guys. So, and the final answer is yeah. Toilet paper. So perfect, guys. Okay, so we have, you know, with this one, we finished. So, um, guys, this exercise, you know, was in order for make sure you know your vocabulary. 
So congrats for the ones you know that know about this. So, and for the ones that know, but now you know it, right? So perfect. So now guys, we have, you know, this conversation, okay? So we have here Mary and Paul. I hardly ever exercise, okay? So we are going to talk about exercises tonight, okay? So, you know, let me read it for you guys. Then you can practice with your classmate, okay? But please pay attention, right, to the pronunciation. So we have Mary. You are really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I leave weeds for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go online skating. Wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five, five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real coach potato, okay, coach potato. So guys, now, you know, let me open, you know, the breakout rooms. So let's practice this conversation, okay? Let's practice this one. Let me, you know, recreate again the groups so you can, let me see, let's, uh, let's make more groups because we are, more tonight, so let's see. Okay, perfect. So, uh, five, six, let's make six then. I guess we got it, yeah. So guys, now, you know, let's practice, you know, with our classmates about this. I'm going to send you, you know, the photo of this one, but you can accept the invitation, please, of this one, right? So let's practice this because then we are going to practice here, okay? Uh, Alvaro, can you accept the invitation, please? Okay. Okay, Alvaro, I understand, yeah. Um, well, you know, you can stay here, so do not worry. I mean, the practice time is going to finish, so probably you can, you know, solve this inconvenience. Do not worry.
Okay, welcome, welcome back, guys. Welcome. So, guys, we have you know this conversation here. So let's see. Let's. I'm going to show some of you, you know, to help me with this one. So let's see. I have here uh, Delmi Carolina. Hello, Delmi. Hello, Delmi. Can you hear me? Hello. Hi, Delmi. My microphone is okay. It's okay. So Delmi and Roxana Cepeda. Roxana, are you here? Hello, Roxana. Aquí estoy. I am here. Perfect. No sé por qué no se ve la cámara, pero está encendida. Ah, uh, well, do not worry. It's okay. So, well, in this case, ah, uh, Delmi, you're going to be Mary. And Roxana, you're going to be Paul, okay? So let's just start. Okay. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I leave Wayne's for an hour. Seriously? Sure, and then I often go and like skating. Wow, how often did you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about what about you? Oh, I only ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am a real coach potato. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Rosanna. Tell me. Congratulations. Perfect. I like a guy, girls. It was very, very nice. Perfect. <laughs> so, guys. Here we have this conversation. So let me ask you something. Do you have any question about this conversation? Is there any word? Do you understand this conversation? Everybody? Yes? Yes. Okay. Leave. Uh, this one. Leave weights. Uh -huh. Okay. Leave weights means um, this one, right? Cuando levantas las pesas, right? Leave weights. Oh. This one. Yeah. Perfect. So now let's see what else. Any other word that you don't know, guys? Hardly. Hardly. Correct. Yeah, hardly ever means like casi nunca, right? Casi nunca. Hardly ever. Okay. Hardly ever. Okay. Yeah, so perfect. And thank you, because you know, this is the topic that we are going to touch today. So, guys, welcome to Adverse of Frequency. Probably, and I know that some of you have seen this before because you have seen, I know this. But guys, let me you know, give me a refresh about this. So we have adverse of frequency. So we have, for example, this one. You know this question, how often do you exercise, right? How often do you exercise? And you can say, I lift weights every day, okay? I lift weights every day. That means, you know, levantar pesas, right? Tenemos también... I go jogging once a week. Do you know what is go jogging, guys? Go jogging? You know? Oh, teacher. Oh. Okay. Go jogging es como a uh, trotar, right? Ir trotando. Es cuando que van trotando, right? Es como de esos que corren, right? Que trotan. No, race, no? Uh, yes. So go jogging. Go race? Sorry? Okay, thanks. Um, I cannot hear you very well. Um, okay. So yeah, go jogging means like ir trotando, right? Y tenemos, I play soccer, right? Twice a month. I use swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often or much, you see? We have this one, guys. So we have, let's pay attention to the ones that are in blackout. Blackout significa las que están aquí negrita, right? We have every day, once a week, twice a month, three times a year, often or most, right? And so guys, every time that you are asked, you know, for example, how often do you exercise? You can say every day, once a week, twice a month, you know, and you know some some examples like this, and we have as well this question: Do you ever watch TV in the evening? You can say yes. I often watch TV after dinner. 
I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV or I never watch, okay? So often, you know, a menudo, sometimes, a veces, casi nunca y nunca, right? Hardly ever, casi nunca, never, nunca, right? So, guys, let me explain you, you know, how to create these sentences. So here, adverbs of frequency, their position, right, in a sentence. So let's see, guys. First, we have the subject, okay? The subject, you know the subject. It can be I, you, he, she, Pedro, Pablo, Erika, okay? Anything, okay? Subject. Then, después del subject, guys, after the subject, we have to add the adverb of frequency, okay? And what are the adverb of frequency? You know, right? Always, never, hardly ever, sometimes, okay? Those ones. And at the end, we have to add the verb, right? The verb, the main verb, plus the complement. So we have an example here. First subject, we have he, okay? He. Adverb of frequency, we are going to choose never, okay? Then it says the verb. I have here the verb. You say play. And then the complement, baseball. So he never plays baseball. So we have here a sentence, right? Using an adverb frequency. So you see the adverb frequency always most to be here after the subject, okay? After the subject, okay? After the subject, we are going to place the adverb frequency. Please pay attention to this because this is going to be, I mean, the test that we are going to, to take today, okay? So please pay attention. After the subject is the adverb frequency. However, there is an adverb frequency, sorry, that is different. So it's sometimes, okay, sometimes. So guys, sometimes can be after the subject, okay? I sometimes go to dance class. It can be before the subject, you know, at the beginning. Sometimes I go to, or it can be at the end. I go to dance class sometimes, you see? So sometimes can be here in the middle, at the beginning or at the end, okay? Sometimes is the only exception, okay? But the rest, they must be here, okay? Here. So, so far, we have any question, guys? Has the key any question? Yes, no? No? So, guys, let me, you know, share you something because probably you don't remember, right? A lot about adverse of frequency, but let me share you here. So, here we have the adverse of frequency, you see? We have always, usually, normally, generally, often, frequently. We have sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, rarely, and never, right? So we have here. And you can see Sir, here, yeah? I ask you, um, ¿cuál de estos adverbios de frecuencia podemos utilizar en medio o al final? No, sometimes. Sometimes es el adverbio que puede ir al principio, en medio o al final. Sometimes. This one, sometimes. Okay. So, with sometimes, guys, most can be, you know, here. As you see, I sometimes forget my wife's birthday. Or sometimes I forget. Or I forget my wife's birthday sometimes, right? So, it can be like that, okay? However, guys, I'm going to give you something here, okay? Let's well add un, like an extra thing that you're not going to use, no lo van a utilizar en el test, pero es bueno que lo sepan, okay? So, guys, we have here the position of the adverb, right? So you see, subject, adverb, and the verb. Subject, I, adverb, always, and the verb, remember, okay? And the complement, to do my homework. I always remember to do my homework. So you see? But guys, we have this one. So an adverb of frequency goes after the verb to be. So guys, if we are using the verb to be, you know what is the verb to be, right? Am, um, is, are, okay? Ese es el verbo to be, okay? So for the verb to be, guys, the adverbs must be after, okay? So primero va a ser el subject, guys. 
el verbo to be y después el adverbio, you see? So like this one. They are never pleased to see me, ¿ok? So, pero eso solo cuando ocupamos el verbo to be. Si no hay el verbo to be, no hay are ni is, so don't, don't do that, ¿ok? So, el adverbio siempre va a ir después del sujeto, ¿ok? So, and we have here, you know, the example of sentence, right? So, guys, perfect. Now, you know, let me see the time. Yeah, we have it. So, guys, I'm going to share you. We are going to make this exercise, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer este ejercicio. Les voy a compartir here a link aquí en el chat de Zoom para que lo puedan copiar, ¿ok? Y pegarlo. Vamos a realizar. Y al final, guys, de este ejercicio, let's see how many... 12. Son 12 preguntas, chicos. Ustedes, like this, no solo van a escoger una, ¿ok? So, for example, I do school in the morning. Habíamos dicho que después del sujeto iba el adverbio, right? En este caso, always, y después el verbo. So, I always go to school in the morning, ¿ok? Este es el ejercicio que vamos a hacer, chicos. Ya les copié el link ahí en el chat de aquí de Zoom. So, please copy, ¿ok? Copienlo y please uh, hagamos, ¿ok? Al final del ejercicio les da una nota. Quiero que esa nota le tomen una screenshot o una foto y la envíen al grupo de WhatsApp, ¿ok? Con su nombre para yo saber, ¿ok? So, come on, guys. Let's see. We have time right now. Um, if you want me, si quieren, también se los puedo enviar al grupo de WhatsApp del link para que lo tengan, right? So, let's see. Pero los que ya lo copiaron, please, está ahí y empecemos, right? Come on, guys. Okay, come on. And if you have any question, guys, you can let me know, okay? Any question, let me know, please. Okay, come on guys, remember when you finish the exercise, please send your screenshot or photo to the WhatsApp group, okay? Send the picture there with your name so I can see it, okay? Because at the end of the exercise, you will see the result, okay? How many, I mean, the rounds, what is the total score, okay? So come on guys. Okay, perfect. I have here the first one. Ever. Nice, ever. 12 of 12. Very nice. Congrats. Perfect. We got it. 
So meanwhile, for the ones that are, you know, are doing the exercise, remember guys, first is the subject, right? Then is the adverb and then is the verb, right? But if we are using verb to be, remember verb to be, are or is, first is subject, then is verb to be, and then is the adverb, okay? Remember this, please. Okay, so we have here Salvador Bernal. Perfect, very nice. Okay. So guys, remember, please, this rule. Guys, I'm going to share you as well this link, okay? Le voy a compartir igual este link para que puedan igual tenerlo y guardado, okay? For any reason, I mean, you can take it, but I'm going to send you as well the PowerPoint presentation, okay? Of tonight, so you, you can have it, right? For anything that you that you want. So let me, you know, share you the link, you know, so you can, you know, check, you know, if you have any question, you can read there. But come on guys, let's see. Okay, only two of you have finished this. What about the rest guys, come on. Okay, I have here, I finished. Okay, Aide, if you have finished, please uh, send the screenshot, please, to the uh, WhatsApp group, please. Like the rest, please. Recordemos enviar la screenshot, right? La foto, el grupo de WhatsApp, right? De cuánto, cuántas buenas tuvieron, right? So come on, guys. Okay, nice, Aide. Perfect, very nice. So come on, guys, what about the rest? Come on, it's easy, guys. It's not, you know, too difficult. So let's see, where do we have? So, you know, let's see. Okay, Roxana, perfect, very nice. Cool. So come on, guys, we are 15 right here and you only have four. So come on, okay. Now Marvin, very nice, perfect. It's a guy, let's move on, you know, let's see. Okay, have, I have received, you know, some of you, your answers. So guys, we have here, right? So um, I need your help, guys, please. The ones that we have finished. And if you can, you know, turn on the cameras, the ones that have finished. So I have here my mother in the afternoon. So what is the correct answer, guys? A, B, or C, tell me. Come on. A, B, or C, guys. Come on. My mother. A. Letter C. Letter A. A. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Uh oh. Ooh. It's Letter never B. died. B. Oh, yeah. It's different. Yeah. Now let's see this one. My teacher in class. What do you think, guys? He's hardly ever angry. Okay, let's see. C. Perfect, very nice. Now we have my mom. What, guys? My mom usually makes, makes usually, oh. or letter usually? Letter A. A. B. Usually, usually makes. Okay, letter A say, yes. It's letter A, guys. Why? Because, you know, we have, let me explain. We have my mom, right? My mom. Then we have the adverb, and then remember, because my mom is third person, right? And remember the rule that we had to add S, right? So that's why it makes. Perfect. Now this one, guys. Tom and his friends late for school. A, B, or C? B. Better B. Okay. B. B. Perfect. Very nice. Now this one. They French together. A, B, or C, guys? B. B. Letter B, let's see. Perfect, yeah, cool. Now this one, Patricia, chocolate, it is bad for her teeth. A, B, or C? C, C. Letter C. C. Letter C, let's see. 
Perfect. Very nice. Now this one. Bob nervous on his literature test. He's very intelligent. What do you think? See. Perfect. Yeah, very nice. My family and I in the evening. What do you think, guys? Always watch TV. Always watch TV. Perfect. And hockey on Sunday. So, what do you think? Me. Let it be. Okay. Yeah, be yeah, because ain't the person, right? It's she. Perfect. Now we have doctors, okay? Doctors, plural. Very busy. Mm. What do you think? Mm. Letter A. Letter A are usually perfect. And the last one, how do you do your homework? Tell me. C. 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 Oh, how perfect. often? Perfect. So perfect, guys. We got it. We got a hundred. Well, here, I don't know. We have one wrong, right? Yeah. So, guys, tell me, how was this exercise for you? It was easy or it was difficult? Tell me. Yeah, I want to hear your opinions, guys. It was easy or difficult for you? Yeah. So, so, okay, perfect. It's not, it's not easy, but it's not difficult. Okay, yeah, very nice, very nice, guys. So, well, guys, now, you know, let me, you know, share you something. Here, guys, this is this unit number one, okay? So, as you see, we have some of the exercises here. But do not worry, we are going, you know, to do them, you know, in a quiet mode because we have to finish. I mean, we have... Right now we have time to finish them, okay? But please, if I tell you, please do the quiz, please do it if you haven't done, right? So guys, here, if you look, you know, your unit, you will see that we have these ones, right? So we have this one that we have discussed today about adverse of frequency, right? You see, we have it here. So guys, now um, we have in the first, you know, after the two videos, we have here an exercise, okay? So this one, and it's quite long, okay? You see, we have a nine, ten, ten, you know, questions about this, okay? But you know, let me help you, you know, because we have, you know, practice this about, you know, this one. So we have guys, do you play a sports? And we have ever. So guys, for you, what do you think is the correct, you know, response here? We have, you know, to place ever in this question. Tenemos que poner ever en esta pregunta, chicos. ¿Cómo lo harían? ¿Cuál crees que sería la correcta? Do you ever play sports? Ever you play sports? Or do you play sports ever? What do you think? Do you ever play sports? Do you ever play sports? Okay, perfect. Nice. Okay, and I have here, sure, I play soccer. And I have to place twice a week. So we have the first one, sure. I twice a week play a soccer. Twice a week, sure, I play soccer. Or sure, I play soccer twice a week. What do you think? Sure, I play soccer twice a week. Okay, the first one. And what about the rest? Mm, no. the sure, last one. I play soccer twice a week. The last one, sure. Sure. The last one, yeah. Yes, yeah. sure. Okay. And we have this one. What do you do on Saturday morning? And we have usually. So, what do you usually do on Saturday morning? What do you do on Saturday usually morning? Or what usually do you do on Saturday morning? What do you think, guys? What do you usually do? Um... Um... Mm. What do you usually do on Saturday morning? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that one. Perfect. Now we have this one. Nothing much. I sleep until noon. And we have almost always. So we have this one, guys. What do you think is the current one of this one? Mm. Nothing much. I almost always sleep until noon. Okay. So this one, yes. 
Okay, perfect. Very nice, guys. Now this one. Do you do aerobics at the gym? And we have often. Guys, this one, don't pronounce often, okay? No pronunciamos la T. Hagámoslo como que si no hubiera T. Often, okay? Often. Not often, right? So do you do aerobics at the gym often? What do you think, guys? What is the correct answer here? Do, do, you do you often do aerobics at the gym? Okay, do you often do aerobics at the gym? Perfect. No, this one. No, I do aerobics hardly ever. So, what do you think? No, I hardly ever do aerobics. Okay, this one. Perfect. Do you exercise on Sundays? And we have always. Do you always exercise on Sundays? Which one? Number one. Number one. Okay. Yes. Yes. And this one. No, I exercise on Sundays. Never. No. I never, no, I never exercise, exercise on Sundays. Okay. And the last one. No, we have two notes. What do you do after class? And we have usually. What, what do you usually do after do. class? Okay. And yeah, finally, the last one. I go out with classmates about three times a week. What do you think, guys? I go out with my classmates about three times a week. Okay. So, guys, so you see, with this one, we have, you know, complete this, you see? So, if you haven't completed, so you got it here, right, guys? So, well, you know, guys, uh, let's see. Yeah, we are not running more time, but do not worry. So, guys, we are going to finish, you know, this week. I'm going to tell you when to do the exercises, okay? So, do not worry because they're not going to be hungry, right? So, we can do it here at class or after the class, you can do it, right? Or whenever you have time, okay? So, now, uh, let me, you know, stop here. So, guys, um, well... First of all, let me ask you something. Do you have any question about adverse frequency? Everything is clear so far? Yes, no? Any question? Alguna pregunta? For me, no, teacher. No. Everything is clear. Okay, Thanks. Andrew. Okay, Nena. Thank uh, you. Uh -huh. Yo tengo una pregunta. ¿Lo puedo hacer en español? Yes, of course. Uh -huh. Este, cuando me meto en la plataforma, me sigue saliendo en inglés intermedio 1 y me sale la misma información que tenía del curso anterior. ¿Cómo oh. puedo hacer para...? Ah, no, no le sale la información nueva. No, ah, me okay. sale como en el curso 1 siempre. Entiendo. Bueno, en este caso, eh, en el grupo en el que estamos, ahí están los, um, los ingenieros también. Usted escriba de que tiene ese problema y ellos le van a solventar, ¿ok? Y si en dado caso no se lo solventan rápido, pues me escribe a mí, pues yo busco cómo lo hagan, ¿ok? Bueno, gracias. Ok, perfect, guys. Do you have any other question, guys? ¿Alguna otra pregunta del, del curso? ¿Tienen algún error, algún problema o, de, o del tema? ¿Algo que se confundieron? Yes, no. 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 Ok, perfect. So, well, guys. Oh, So, you know, thank you so much for being here, guys. Even though it was raining, right? Incluso aunque estuviera lloviendo, algunos de ustedes, you know, estuvieron aquí. So, that was really nice, guys. Amazing. So, well, you know, it was, this is, you know, everything for tonight. So, I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? So, see you tomorrow with the best energies, okay? So, good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Have a good one.